All right, folks. Got a Genesis G90 here. We're going to change the air filters. All right. There's two of them on this car. One on that side. One on that side. All right. And the air filters, uh, when you buy them aftermarket online, AutoZone.com, you could get them as AC Delcos. All right. So it's A3322C and A3321C. Usually the odd number is for the driver's side. Even numbers for the passenger side. That's basically what GM used to do back in the days. You see, they have GM numbers too. So I'm sure this fits some kind of a GM car. All right. So this is a uh, twin turbo, I believe. All right. And to get to the filters right here, you got to remove this, this strut bar here. It's 12 millimeters here, 12 millimeters there. Move that out of the way. Then there's actually four clips one, two, three and then four all right this hose clamp i think we're going to have enough room to to swing it up and over to get the filter out so we don't have to remove it but if you do you can just use a phillips take that little clamp off the hardest part is especially if it hasn't been removed in a while this is going to be a little tight on that and you might have to pry the crap out of it just to get it out all right so let me set you up over here i'll film it for you Let's see what we could do. All right. Like I said, two 12 millimeters here. Let's set it up. This one out first. Out of the way. Let's take these bolts out. Put them in a safe spot. So you know it's not going to fall down into a gap somewhere and then you're going to be in trouble. This bar comes off. I don't think it's any specific way, but I like to keep everything kind of original. So I'm going to keep it just so it looks like it goes straight there. So I'm going to get to the four clips here. There's one in the corner here. One. This is two. One in the back. I need a screwdriver. Push that one out. It's three, and one over here is four. All right, so we're going to lift this up out of the way. There's a little uh, little plastic piece over here. Just move that out of the way, too. It'll go up and under, and this is going to lift out, and this is what you're going to see. All right, there it is right there. Lift it up. There's enough of a gap there for you to pull the filter out. If I can prop you guys here. There you go. Perfect. I'm going to take this filter off from here. All right. There it is. This is the filter. All right. It's got some dirt on it. The car's been sitting dormant for a while, so we're getting this thing ready to go. So we are going to change the filter. So this one is going to be the A3322C, made by AC Delco. All right. Then match it up. Same exact configuration okay see the difference of the filter new and old all right so let's go and install it only goes on one way because of, of that little curve that's right there that cut out so we're going to put it just the way we see it all right lift this up tuck this back in make sure it sits nicely Looks like it's good. I'm going to reset this back down. All right. Once it sits back down, we're just going to push it a little bit, make sure it's square, and then we're going to lock in those little tabs. That's usually the hardest part of it. Because usually when you have a new filter, the rubber is a little tight. And you have to push down on it. So just going to give it a little final wiggle. And we're going to set the little sucker in there. Might need a screwdriver just to push on the side of the clips. Just to snap them in. 
because sometimes when they're new, these things do not go in easily. Okay? And if your hands hurt, oh yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Let's get to the one in the back. The one that I had a hard time taking off. That's the one I'm gonna do now. All right. Yeah, let's go this one here, people. That's three. Now the one in the back. I was wondering when I look at the driver's side one, I noticed that the guy didn't put the one in the back on. I wonder why. You can't really get your hand in there. So I'm gonna try my best here with a with a screwdriver here. I'm just gonna pry it. Push in the back of the clip so it stretches. And it'll go up and over. But you can see a lot of it don't want to go in. No wonder why I left it up. But I'm determined to try to get that little sucker in there. There's no other way to do it. You can't lift it. Probably if you want to lift it with two hands. But other than that... We're going to keep trying here. Let me just try to pry it up there. Might need a bigger pry bar. Come on. I know it's there. Almost got it, people. Think it's easy? It is not easy. I'm telling you, that is exactly why this was not put on on the other side. Because you can't really get in there. I could probably take this cover off. But I'm going to keep trying it. But I'm going to try it and try it and try it until I get it. I'm going to cut you off because I don't want the, this thing to keep filming when I'm struggling with this thing. All right, I got it. You know what it is? It was the angle. I'm trying to do it this way when I really should have went this way exactly behind it and then like that popped in simple okay hey sometimes when you haven't done one of these type of jobs on this particular model you learn as you go or you go as you learn whichever way you want to phase that okay all right so four clips are on this filter is done the other filter is exactly the same. There is nothing else different blocking the way. Okay, so just we're just tightening up all the brackets right now. And you are good to go. Same thing on this side. Okay, I'm going to show you. Got the bar, got the one clip there in the corner, two, three, and this is the four back here. All right, and that's it. So, now since dragging it out for this one, it's the same thing. It's just a left filter and a right filter, so just remember that. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Ciao. Just to let you know, this side's a lot filthier. Okay, look at that. So even though you take one filter off and you think it's clean, the other side is actually worse. All right, so just to let you know, change them both as a pair. Ciao. Oh yeah, and on the driver's side, this little piece here is gonna touch this little AC hose a little bit, that's all. So once you bend it out of the way, it'll pop right out. So this side went a lot easier Okay, that doesn't affect it whatsoever. Just this one, when you pull it out, away from this little piece here, pass right out, clean it, throw it back in. All right, that's it. Ciao. Turbo GDI.